It's March 14th, as in 314. That's pie day and pie day. I mean, if you need an excuse to eat pie, this is it. I know a little bit of the number pi, right? It's rounded to 3.1415 and then it goes on forever. It's a mathematical number that people love to turn into something fun and something delicious. I mean, why wouldn't bake shops jump on the bandwagon of Pi Day, right? For some, it is the single biggest day of the year in their bake shop. And you might just think, oh, this is a silly day full of sweets, but no. Pi Day is an actual day that Congress voted on in 2009. It was designated in an effort to spur more interest in the math and sciences. And wouldn't you know, it's also Albert Einstein's birthday today. Very appropriate to celebrate all that. Uh huh. Now, Pi can calculate the circumference of a circle by measuring the diameter diameter, the distance, which is straight across the circle's middle, and multiplying that by that 3.14 plus number. So now the question is, mm. what do we use that pi number for in everyday life? Because they always tell you, you're going to use this one day. In everyday life. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, uh, <laughs> looking, I, looking me? for the meteorologist <laughs> for the answer. <laughs> Not a math major. No. But right. I'm looking like, at you two. So now, we may not use it in everyday yeah. life, mm -hmm. but it is used in everyday life. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's show you what we're talking about, okay? Let's take a look. The number is key to accurately point an antenna towards a satellite, and oh. don't we all use those? It helps figure out everything from the size of a massive cylinder needed in refinery equipment, which is you're oh. looking at here. We all get gas that way, right? All the way down to the size of a paper roll used in printers, like in office machines or receipt printers. <laughs> All right, so now, but the real question is this. This okay. is the tough question. Which pie is it? Is it savory or sweet pie today? Oh, it's Ooh. savory. Sweet pie. Sweet pie, I already had my piece of pie, that's why. Did wait, you savory. seriously have wait, a piece wait, wait. of pie already? Wait, okay, wait. here's the deal. Our reporter, Amber, was a saint. She stopped by her apartment <laughs> complex and they were having pie day. They were celebrating and then she got another pie but nobody took it and I was like, excuse me. I'd like pie. Pick me. Okay. Yeah, Pick no, it's me. definitely well, sweet. It's, okay. I don't know why yeah. I said savory. I meant okay. sweet. I'm so sorry. See, because yeah. I love a pizza pie. Yeah. I do mm. love a pizza pie. Ooh, okay, so they were just talking about the pizza pie. I did look that up and I was like, okay, yeah, pizza pie's pretty, uh -huh. pizza pretty pie. Pizza pie or dessert pie. Mm -hmm. um, I asked people on Facebook and they chose both pies. First, mm -hmm. the pizza pie, oh, right, smart. for dinner, and then a slice of pie for dessert, I right? Do that. Mm -hmm. I do that one. Oh, you yeah, I haven't had a pie in a long time. Not, any, know, not any kind of pie. Not any kind of pie. <laughs> well, and, I think know, today is the day. It just really might be. Hmm. Can I just say something? In the 9 o'clock show this morning, they went through the top five pies, I think, for North Carolina. And oh. key lime pie wasn't in there. Oh, see, now that's a problem. That's a problem. That <laughs> that's is what problem. I, I don't like I was, key lime pie. I was okay. Oh, if you don't I, key lime, you don't pie. What was the top five? <laughs> Oh, I'm good. sure Apple like pie, sweet potato. Sweet potato. Oh, sweet potato wasn't in there. Really? Pumpkin? Yeah. We're pumpkin gonna have to go and rewind that tape and get back to you people <laughs> on this pie thing. We'll be back. I remember. Oh.